friends, before we start today, let's go over some letters. This letter is C. This letter is B. This letter is E. This letter is F. This letter is A. This letter is D. Great job, friends. Now, remember, all last week we talked about how you could spell any word you say using letters from the alphabet. What does this word say? Well, this is I. Remember, capital I spells I and I is about me. M E. Capital I spells I and I is about me. M E. Capital I is a letter and it's all about me. Capital I spells I and I is about me. M E. Now, what if I add the letter S to the end? Does this still say I? No, now it says is. Well, what if I change the S to an N? Does that say I? No, now it says in. Well, what if I change the N to a T? Does that say I? No, now it says it. For this word to say I, it can only have the letter I by itself. There, now it says I again. Let's try another word. What does this word say? You're right, this is our sight word, go. G, O, that spells go. If I change the G to um an N, does that spell go? No, now it says no. Well, what if I add a T to the end? Does that spell go? No, now it says not. It does not say go. Well, what if I change the N to an H? Does that spell go? No, now it says hot. That's kind of hot. For this word to say go, it has to be spelled G-O. There, now it says go again. Today, your job is to practice the words I and go. The way we will do that is by drawing a picture in our kindergarten notebook about where you will go for the long weekend and then writing the words I go. That tells about the place you will go. Let's do an example. So for the long weekend, Miss G is going to go and I'm going to go visit my family. So I'm going to visit my mom and my dad and my sister. And so I'm going to draw a picture of my parents' house. And there's a garage here. There's some windows up here there's the front door and their house has like a whole bunch of plants in the front so i'm gonna draw all of the plants there's some bushes some more trees and then some more bushes and then i would draw a picture of me and my family and Let's draw the driveway. So I added some details, but I could definitely draw more. But again, friends, you're going to draw a picture of where you will go for the long weekend. And then you're going to write the words, I go on the lines. Let's practice. Now. You're going to see some lines. Usually the picture's at the top, but I wanted to write the lines above so you guys could see what I'm writing. So I'm going to write I, two finger space, go, G, O. Then 
Just like in our Dakota Bowl, you're going to draw a little box with a small picture of the place you're going. So I get two finger spaces. I'm going to draw a box. And in that box, I'm going to draw a very simple house. So it shows that I go visit my family's house. And I'm going to put a period at the end. So again, friends, your job is first, draw a picture of where you will go. Next, write the words, I go. Last, draw a tiny picture of that place on the line and put a period at the end because that's the end of your idea. Do your best and I'll see you later.